Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333862 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so student in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 3rd august the session will be very helpful and interesting so do pay attention till the end also friends when life puts you in tough situation when you feel demotivated then don't say why me always say try me this will motivate you and it will give you ample strength to face the challenges in your life also it will help you to become a better successful person in the life as you move ahead and it will provide you a lot of motivation all right so never say why me always say try me also you can subscribe to our youtube channel friends like this video and share this video as you know we have the target of achieving 15,000 views on our daily videos so all you have to do is just share this link of this video at least two to three whatsapp groups all right be it your friends be it your colleagues be it your cousins all you have to do is just share this link and let them know about how good our channel is all right also comment and let us know below that what are your views on such type of sessions if you want us to continue with such sessions comment below and let us know here is the answer of yesterday's video all these correct answer are the homework questions so congratulations avantika sharma you have given all the correct answers and i'll suggest more students to comment below the answer because as i'm saying the number of comments are very less so start commenting below all right avantika sharma best of luck for your future i hope you success in life if you are aiming for any government exam i hope you clear that exam all right best of luck avantika Let's start with MCQ question friends, then we will be moving to the news part. Who has been named as the new managing director and CEO of National Stock Exchange? New MD and CEO. MD and CEO of NSA. Who he will be? He is Ashish Chohan. Alright, market regulator SEBI has named Ashish Chohan as the new managing director and chief executive officer of National Stock Exchange. Ashish Chohan is currently as the MD and CEO of Bombay Stock Exchange and now he will be the MD and CEO of National Stock Exchange. Alright, he is known for reviving the exchange which was on the edge of a shutdown in 2009. BSE and its subsidiary CDSL launched successful IPOs under his leadership. Next, the Craft Village Scheme. It is an initiative of which union ministry? The Craft Village Scheme. It is a initiative of union ministry of 
textiles all right the craft village scheme highly important friends you have to remember this all right the aim here is to develop handicap uh, handicrafts way as a sustainable livelihood option i repeat the aim here will be to develop handicrafts as a sustainable livelihood option for artisans in the cluster it is an initiative of union textiles ministry for linking textile with tourism all right aim or here it can be linking textiles with tourism in order to promote more tourism also this craft village scheme was launched so the correct option here is union ministry of textile is related to the craft village scheme next question chhabar port which was seen in the news is located in which country the chhabar port is located in iran it is located in iran the chhabar port is a strategic port located in the iran in the commercial transit center of the central asian region also remember recently chhabar day is celebrated to mark the beginning of the international north south transport corridor moving on correct option here is option c which state in the which state is the venue of india oman joint military deal al naga we have discussed that that this al naga this exercise was conducted between armies of india and oman and also we saw that these exercise this exercise will be conducted in india and india too where this exercise will be conducted in rajasthan highly important friends where this exercise will be conducted rajasthan this is the fourth edition of al naja and this will be a 13 day long joint military exercise in rajasthan india all right highly important so correct option here is option b next who is the head of the task force recently set up by the center to monitor monkey pox situation in india important question friends all right i repeat who will be the head of the task force that was set up by the center to monitor monkey pox situation in india he is vk paul vk paul all right remember he is a member of niti ayog this task force also indicates uh, this task force also includes secretary union health ministry pharma and biotech he will uh, this ministry or this task force will advise the government on expanding diagnostic facilities and investigating vaccine against the disease india has reported four vaccine, uh, four monkey pox cases so far three were from kerala and one was from in delhi and remember out of these three cases from kerala one person has died so correct option is vk paul will be the head of the task force set up by center to monitor monkey pox situation in india now move to the news part friends first news is recently prime minister narendra modi has launched a power sectors revamped distribution scheme all right highly important i repeat recently prime minister narendra modi has launched a power sectors revamped distribution sector scheme recently narendra modi ji participated in the grand finale of the ujwal bharat ujwala bhavishya power at the rate of 2047 through video conferencing all right this was organized as a part of azadi ka amrit mahotsav it was organized from 25th to 31st of july and it was in the all the districts of india by electricity department it was initiated by the ministry of power and ministry of new and renewable energy to showcase the transformation and the achievements in the power sector in the last 8 years also remember here friends prime minister narendra modi has also launched a national portal for rooftop solar all right at kandkur village at kandkur village let me write here again you can see that recently uh, prime minister narendra modi also has launched a national portal for rooftop solar and this was launched at kandkur village also this national portal for rooftop solar will enable online tracking of the processes of installation of rooftop solar plants highly important friends all right if we revise prime minister narendra modi participated in the grand finale of ujwal bharat ujwal bhavishya power at the rate of 2047 program he also launched fun program that was national portal for rooftop solar highly important next 
नेक्स्ट इज सेंटर फॉर टास्क फोर्स सेंटर हैज फॉर्म अ टास्क फोर्स टू मॉनिटर द मंकी पॉक्स वायरस सिचुएशन इन इंडिया वी जस्ट सो इन द एम सी क्यू पार्ट ऑल्सो दैट हु विल बी हैडिंग दिस टास्क फोर्स इट विल बी हैडेड बाई डॉक्टर वी के पॉल एंड वी हेयर स्टैंड फॉर विनोद के पॉल ऑल राइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेंड्स रिमेंबर अबाउट इट ऑल्सो रिमेंबर अकॉर्डिंग टू वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मोर देन एटीन थाउजेंड केसेज आर रिपोर्टेड फ्रॉम सेवेंटी एट कंट्रीज इन इंडिया द केसेज हैज बिन लिमिटेड टू जस्ट फोर्स एंड मैक्सिमम ऑफ दीज केसेज आर फ्रॉम Kerala that are three are from Kerala one is from New Delhi and among the three also one person has died the reason it is stated that maxim monkey pox is spreading among humans is because of intercourse between two individuals all right then remember monkey pox it is a zoonotic disease it is a zoonotic disease what is a zoonotic disease a zoonotic disease is a disease that spreads from animals to humans All right, and this belongs to the same family of viruses as that of a smallpox. Remember this also. This disease is endemic in the region like West and Central Africa. And remember, Kerala, as I told you, among three cases, one person has died. So first death in India above from monkeypox is from Kerala. So here you, here you can see Dr. Vinod K. Paul will be heading this task force that was set up by Center to monitor the monkeypox situation in India. Also students we have recently uploaded a new interactive infographics on the National Film Awards of 2020 this is a very helpful way to learn new things it will help you to save time and make a memory capacity also friends this is available in the pdf in the careers cloud mobile application do watch these infographics and let us know in the comment section what are your views Then remember, during Prime Minister Narendra Modi's 91st edition of Man Ki Baat, that is a monthly radio broadcast program, he shared that the India's effort in the field of varied medical plants and herbs. He highlighted that India's largest online herbarium database, that is a virtual herbarium web portal, was launched on July. All right, highly important friends. All right, India's virtual herbarium. The Botanical Survey of India, that is your BSI, has developed the Indian Virtual Herbarium Portal. So the uh, if question asked to you is that this Indian Virtual Herbarium Portal is developed by whom? It has been developed by BSI, that is your Botanical Survey of India, and this was developed as a part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav and Digital India Initiative. What will be the aim here? It is to provide comprehensive data on herbarium species regarding the floral diversity of India and other countries that are. preserved in the cabinet of the herbarium building through online processes also friends remember this herbarium this indian virtual herbarium will help in research studies and provide valuable information for global plant research all right so coming back friends remember recently indian virtual herbarium has been launched and it is a virtual herbarium about 1 lakh herbarium species images with metadata including digitized images of specimens will be collected or will be available on this portal this database is the india's greatest repository of plant diversity information all right then remember ministry of environment forest and climate change will eventually incorporate specimens from universities herbaria and other institutions herbariums in order to consolidate all of the india's herbarium data on to a single portal and that portal is indian virtual herbarium all right highly important friends now some of the students might be asking sir what is herbarium herbarium is basically a collection of plant samples and data that have been preserved for a long term for example if you have studied or if you know the data that in antarctica there is a lab that contains all the kind of species of seeds it is a seed vault what it contains is various kinds of seeds all right similarly remember this herbarium is basically a collection of plant samples and data that have been preserved for a long term study moving on next is india india vietnam has kick started the third edition of the army exercise that is win backs important friends we are talking about the exercise that is win backs it was conducted between india and vietnam this was the third edition of the exercise all right and where what is the location where this win backs exercise is planned to be hosted it will be in india and in india too it will be in haryana we will be observing 
win back the third edition of the exercise between India and Vietnam. And this will be between the army of India and Vietnam. All right. Also, remember the theme of this exercise, friends. This is important. 2022 is employment and deployment of an engineer company and a medical team as a part of United Nations contingent for peacekeeping operations. Also, remember this here focus will be to strengthen the bilateral relationships between India and Vietnam. Coming back. Third edition, what do you have to remember regarding exam is that this was the third edition of the exercise. It is winbacks. It was between India and Vietnam and the location where this exercise, was, exercise is going to be conducted. It is in Haryana, in Chandi Mandir Haryana that is in India. This exercise will be conducted and it is between the Indian Army and Vietnam People's Army. Moving on, next news is. Bell, B E L, Bharat Electronics Limited has signed a 250 crore rupees deal with Ministry of Defense Anti Submarine Warfare System. I repeat, recently, Bharat Electronics Limited has recently signed a contract worth 250 crore rupees with Ministry of Defense for the supply of nine integrated anti submarine warfare complex Mod C systems. This IAC Mod C has been indigenously developed by BEL in association with the DRDO. All right, I repeat this IAC that is your Indian uh, uh, integrated anti submarine warfare complex mode C system they are developed by BEL in association with DRDO. So indirectly question can be asked that recently a deal deal was signed worth 250 crore rupees with which organization that was between BEL and Ministry of Defense for the supply of anti submarine warfare system. Important friends mark this. All right. Next, if we talk about BEL Bharat Electronics Limited, who is the chairman and managing director? Remember, Anandi Ramalingam is the current chairman and managing director. It was established in 1954 and the headquarters is in Bangalore, Karnataka. Next friends, next we will be talking about Tata Steel. Tata Steel has recently rolled out first in India seating system for Vande Bharat Express train. Important. We are talking about first in India seating system was rolled out by Tata Steel for Vande Bharat Express train. The Tata Steel is set to manufacture 180 degree rotating seats that is first in India for the Vande Bharat trains. So why this seating system is important because it is a 180 degree rotating seating system. Also remember this will be developed by whom? This will be developed by Tata Steel. This will be developed for whom? This will be developed for Vande Bharat Express train. The plan uh, this uh, India's largest steel maker that is Tata Steel is planning to spend 3000 crore rupees on the research and development by the fiscal year 2026 and will bring rolling out seed systems for Vande Bharat Express trains in September 2022. Also remember Vande Bharat Express train also known as train 18. Train 18, it is the second fastest train in India. It is the second fastest train in India which is operated by Indian Railways only on two prominent routes as of March 2022. One is from Delhi, New Delhi to Sri Mata Vaishno Devi Katra and other is from New Delhi to Varanasi. All right. And it travels at a speed of 130 km per hour. Next, some international news friends. We will be talking about an exercise, it, a maritime partnership exercise in the North Atlantic Ocean. It was between Indian navies and French navies. So remember Indian Navy and French Navy conducted a maritime partnership exercise and the location where this exercise was conducted is North Atlantic Ocean. Highly important. All right. Highly important friends here. If I ask you from Indian side, which naval ship took part in this? It was your Indian naval ship Tarkash. INS Tarkash took part in this particular exercise that was conducted between Indian Navy and French Navy. And if I ask you from French side, which naval ship took part? It was the French fleet tanker Somi. FNS Somi. That is French naval ship Somi took part from French side and from Indian side it was your INS Tarkash. INS Tarkash is the second, uh, second Talwar class frigate constructed for Indian Navy. It was a part of the second batch of Talwar class frigates built at the Yantar shipyard in Russia. That means we procured this INS Tarkash from Russia. 
Apart from this, friends, we just saw that French navies and Indian navies conducted this exercise. But what about some other exercise between these two countries? That is between India and France. For example, if we talk about exercise Garuda, it is between with Indian Air Force and France Air French Air Force. Then Varuna exercise is with Indian Navy and French Navy. Exercise Shakti is between Indian Navy and French army so all these things you have to remember these exercise also apart from this if you are talking about varuna remember it was the 20th edition of varuna exercise that was conducted in arabian sea this was held from 30th of march to 3rd of april in arabian sea we saw this exercise the 20th edition of this varuna exercise all right friends moving on now next friends remember only 52% of the children who have HIV who are suffering for a human immunodeficiency virus are on the life-saving treatment as per the data released by UNAIDS. If a person is suffering from HIV AIDS, then remember that individual will be having low immunity. That means if that person is catching virus, any simple virus, say for example, if he is he's suffering from cold then that cold will be very severe on his body all right it will be in extreme cases because he will be having no immunity to fight that particular infection and that is done in this hiv aids only that the immunity of that particular individual is suppressed all right and this hiv is takes effect on the white blood cells so indirectly we can say that white blood cells won't be working properly if you have hiv aids so in align with this, a global alliance for ending AIDS in children by 2030 has been released. This was released during the 24th International Aid Conference of 2022 that was held in Montreal, Canada. Moving on then, friends. Next, next we will be talking about SIDWI. SIDWI has recently partnered with SVC Bank. I repeat, SIDWI has partnered with SVC Bank for empowering MSME sector. I repeat, Small Industries Development Bank in India, that is SIDBI, that is India's apex financial situation, financial institutions for MSME, has partnered with SVC Cooperative Bank Limited, that is one of the India's leading cooperative banks, to extend finance facility to facilitate an improved flow of credit to MSMEs, that is in order to provide a better credit flow to MSMEs. This tie-up was done between SIDBI and SVC Cooperative Bank. SIDWI provides refinance to primary lending institutions such as banks, including small finance banks, non banking finance companies, and microfinance institutions, which in turn provide credit to MSMEs. All right. Next, if we talk about SIDWI, who is the chairman and managing director? Shiva Subramanyam Ramanji is the current chairman and managing director of SIDWI. It was established in 1990 and headquarters is in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. Moving on friends, next we are talking about Union Bank of India. They have launched Union Prerna 2.0, Empower Him. I repeat, Union Bank of India has taken the step in promoting employees, career trajectories and improving the diversity in the banking sector with the help of Union Prerna 2.0, Empower Him. Him. This is an industry's first and men focused committee dedicated to improving the workplace empowerment. I repeat, question will be asked to you in two ways that empower him. This scheme was launched by whom or by which bank it was Union Bank of India in order to promote or it was a men focused committee dedicating the improving the workplace environment. All right. So coming back. Union Prerna 2.0 Empower Him, it was of Union Bank of India and it was launched to provide a better or it, it was launched to improve the workplace empowerment dedicated specifically for men. It was launched by A. Mani McLai, who is the MD and CEO of Union Bank of India. The committee will work in tandem with Union Bank of India's Empower Her Committee, which was launched in July 2022. And now, empower him committee has uh, empower him initiative has also been launched by union bank of india so empower him and empower her both are of union bank of india if we talk about union prerna remember union prerna is a union bank of india's human resource transformation initiative the aim of it is to boosting productivity through digitalization of processes employment centric interventions and learning revolutions in the banking sector all right that is your 
यूनियन प्रेरणा इफ यू टॉक अबाउट एम्पावर हिम वी जस्ट दैट हैज बीन जस्ट लॉन्च इट इज इंडस्ट्रीज फर्स्ट कैरियर फोकस कमिटी एट यूनियन बैंक एंड इट सीक्स टू एड्रेस द एवरी इशू एट द ग्रास रूट लेवल हेयर द कमिटी ऑब्जेक्टिव आर टू ऑफर सपोर्टिव एनवायरमेंट वेयर एवरी वन कैन फ्रीली एक्सप्रेस देयर नीड्स एंड कंसर्न ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड्स एम्प्लॉय द काउंसलिंग सेशन दे रिक्वायर टू प्रमोट एक्टिव पार्टिसिपेशन इन द लीडरशिप रोल्स एंड एनहेंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल एंड पर्सनल प्रोडक्टिविटी सो कमिंग बैक फ्रेंड्स एम्पावर हिम प्रेरणा यूनियन प्रेरणा टू पॉइंट ओ और एम्पावर हर ऑल दीज थ्री आर रिलेटेड टू यूनियन बैंक ऑफ इंडिया हु इज द एम डी एंड सी ई ऑफ यूनियन बैंक ऑफ इंडिया ए मनी ए मनी मेखलाई जी इट वॉज एस्टेब्लिश इन नाइनटीन नाइनटीन हेडक्वार्टर इज इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट फ्रेंड्स पी एन बी पंजाब नेशनल बैंक इज रेडी टू इन्वेस्ट फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज इन द पी एन बी हाउसिंग फाइनेंस राइट्स issues i repeat reserve bank of india has approved pnb to infuse investment of 500 crore rupees in the proposed 2500 crore rights issue of pnb housing finance limited all right highly important remember this amount next infosys finacle has get inducted into the ifsca's regulatory sandbox framework what is this this remember recently infosys finance uh, finacle that is a part of edgeware systems a wholly owned subsidiary of infosys has been inducted into the international financial service centers authority regulatory sandbox framework to pilot its blockchain based trade financing solutions if we talk about bharat blockchain network was launched by india and polyversity was launched in india it is a virtual university all right and if i ask you which was the first virtual launch launched into the metaverse it was onyx all right and if we are see if asked cryptocurrency works on which type of technology it works on blockchain technology and these two things bbn bharat blockchain network and polyversity they will also work on the blockchain technology only and if you remember in maharashtra this blockchain technology was launched in the education sector next friends vodafone india has appointed aksha mundra as the new ceo of vodafone india important appointment i repeat akshay mundra has been appointed as the new ceo of the vodafone idea limited he will he has been appointed for a period of 3 years and he will replace whom akshay mundra will re- re- replace or succeed ravindra takkar he will succeed ravindra takkar and question can be asked that akshay mundra has been appointed as the ceo of vodafone india for how much time what is the duration it is 3 years next next is nakul nakul has been appointed as the ceo of paytm payment services limited i repeat paytm's parent entity 197 communication has appointed standard chartered banks executive nakul jang as the chief executive officer of the paytm payment services limited all right highly important and he will be replacing whom he will be replacing praveen sharma so coming back nakul jain will be replace whom as the new ceo of paytm payment service limited he is praveen sharma next related to some sports england has won the first ever women's championship euro 2022 over germany i repeat england has won their first ever women's championship in euro 2022 over germany all right here we are talking about union of european football association all right and this win is this sport that is related here is football so ufa's european women's football championship for the first time after extra time in the 2-1 euro final defeating germany so who has won it was was england that has won their first ever women championship in euro 2022 by defeating germany next books a book that is the dolphin and the shark stories on entrepreneurship this book was authored by whom namita thapar she will be the author of the book that is the dolphin and the shark stories on entrepreneurship all right as the name suggests it is based on entrepreneurship and this book will be published by penguin random house india important next we will be talking about west bengal west bengal is to get seven new districts a total number of districts in west bengal will be now 30 so remember recently which state will got get got their seven new districts it is your west bengal those seven new districts so the total number is 30 earlier there was 23 districts in west bengal seven has been now added a total number of districts in now in west bengal is 30 who is the 
गवर्नर ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल ला गणेशन इज द गवर्नर ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल ऑल राइट ही वॉज गिवन द एडिशनल चार्ज ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल बाय प्रेजिडेंट एंड ही इज ऑल्सो द गवर्नर ऑफ मणिपुर All right, and he was uh, appointed to the post of the governor of West Bengal under Article One Fifty Three. That suggests that a person can hold the office of the governor of two individual states of India. Next, Assam's chief minister has launched Mission Bhumi Putra. All right, for the digital issuance of caste certificates for students. Very important, friends. You have to remember this. That which state has launched Mission Bhumi Putra? This was launched by Assam. What was Bhoom Mission Bhumi Putra? Mission Bhumi Putra was basically for the digital issuance of the caste certificates for the students. All right, how these caste student uh, certificates are beneficial for students? For example, if they want to get admitted into a uh, if they want to get admitted into a college or a university, so that for they they can get a right amount of reservation also that help the students to get bet scoring a better. rank in those universities or for jobs also so for issuing those caste certificates digitally this scheme mission bhumi patra was released by the chief minister of assam who is the chief minister of assam himanta biswa sarma ji important you have to remember this friends all right so that's all for the day friends now we will quickly revise all the current affairs pm narendra modi participated in the grand finale of ujwal bharat ujwal bhavishya power at the rate of 2047 government of india has formed a task force to monitor monkeypox virus in india parliamentary delegation of mozambique led by miss bias is on 3 day visit to india just remember this india's largest online herbarium database was launched by prime minister narendra modi and it is the indian virtual herbarium India Vietnam has commenced their third edition of the bilateral exercise that is Winbex BEL has signed a 250 crore rupees deal with Ministry of Defence for anti submarine warfare system Tata Steel has rolled out their first in India seating system for Vande Bharat Express trains India and French Navy has conducted MPX in the North Atlantic Ocean Only 52% of the children living with HIV are on the life-saving treatment as per the UN AIDS Global AIDS update of 2022. SIDBI has partnered with SVC Bank for empowering MSMEs. UBI Union Bank of India has launched the industry's first and men-focused committee Empower Him. Empower Her is also of Union Bank of India only remember. PNB invested 500 crore rupees in the PNB housing finance rights issue. Government of India has announced the sale of four dated securities for a notified amount of thirty-three thousand crore rupees. Infosys Infosys Finacal has got inducted into the IFSCS regulatory sandbox regulatory sandbox framework. Wind Vodafone Idea has appointed Akshay Mundra as their new CEO. Nakul Jain has been appointed as the CEO of Paytm Payment Service Limited. England has won the first ever women's championship in Euro twenty twenty two by defeating Germany. a book title that was the dolphin and the shark stories on entrepreneurship it was authored by whom namita thapar west bengal got their seven new districts now the total number of districts in west bengal is 30 assam's chief minister has launched mission bhumi putra this mission bhumi putra was basically to provide digital caste service digital caste certificates to the students All right, friends. So that's all for the day. And now it's time for your homework, friends. Important question, and I want everyone to comment below the answer of this homework in homework in comment section. It is very helpful for you all. Which state held the most number of sittings of the state assembly in 2021? Second, revamped distribution sector scheme, which was recently launched, is the implemented by which ministry? Third. Penchi Wildlife Sanctuary where a new dams fly species was found this was spotted in which state name of the state fourth question logistics data bank project which was seen in the news is associated with which ministry fourth question now the fifth question is loktak lake the largest fresh water lake in india is located in which state apart from this you have to tell me where is the river island river in island located in india let me tell you okay i'll tell you it is majoli island and this the river that surrounds this island is brahmaputra all right so friends that's all for the day do comment the answer of all these question also remember to share this video to at least 2 to 3 whatsapp groups that will help us to achieve our target of around 15000 views on our daily videos so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day 
that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue